Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through every single step that you need to take so you can get as many of the exclusive in-game legendaries as you want from only one copy of Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. As you know from many Pokemon games, the exclusive legendary Pokemon are only catchable once per save file, so it means you're really only able to get one of these per game unless you have multiple games where you'll be able to go in and obviously catch more of them to transfer over to your main account. It is possible to use only one copy of the game to get as many of these Pokemon as you like in your main account. We're going to go through all of the steps so you can do this for yourselves. To do this method, you are going to need either a copy of Pokemon Scarlet or a copy of Pokemon Violet, a purchased Hidden Treasures of Area Zero DLC pack, one switch and access to pokemon home and with access to all of these you're going to have the ability to go in with a little bit of your time to get as many as the exclusive pokemon in these games as possible this includes ogapon from the teal mask as well as the loyal three blood moon ursa luna and the ruin legendary pokemon from pokemon scarlet and violet that are available in paldea so to start this process off the first step that we're going to need to do is go into your home menu and head down down into your system settings then go into the option add user now add a new user pick your name and icon and then when you're okay with these selections it will ask you if you want to sign in or connect your new user that you've just created to an existing account when this pops up it's important to just skip this step and say you'll do it later and now you're all set to go with that all set up, you want to head back into your home menu and get ready to jump into your copy of Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, whichever one you have access to. From here on out, you will be starting a brand new playthrough of your game, and this is going to be one of the two grindy parts in this process. The first one is, of course, going to be getting to the Academy where you're able to then set out on one of your three journeys in your playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Once you've done all of this prereq stuff where you're able to leave the Academy, you're going to be able to then get a call from Jack, which is going to kickstart the Kitakami or DLC storyline in your games. Now, getting to the Academy from the start of the game is going to be a little bit of a lengthy process. It can take up to 45 minutes to get through the early parts of the game. Of course, you're going to have to bump into your ride Pokemon. You're going to have to meet Nimona as well as do a bunch of things in the Academy before you have the big speech from director clavel and you're able to kind of set out on your own journey but once you are at this stage of the game like i say you'll get a call from jacques he'll inform you to come back to the academy so when you come back into the academy of course you'll be greeted by briar who will then explain to you about the trip to kitakami and then after this dialogue you'll be able to visit kitakami so you'll be going into this part of the story mode or into the dlcs a very low level as you can see here we've only got a Sprigatito here on level 10 and a Lechonk that's very low level that we caught from earlier in our playthrough as the teal mask is accessible so early on in your playthrough level scaling will be in place when you venture into the teal mask DLC most Pokemon battles will start with level 12 Pokemon and as you progress they will get into the low 30s at max so you shouldn't have too much of a hard time with your starter and something else like Lechonk, which we were able to catch at the beginning of our playthrough. Now, as I mentioned, there are two real grindy parts to this whole process, especially if you are going for Orgopon like we are doing in this guide. Getting to the Academy is one part. You can unlock traveling to Kitakami, and the other one is getting to the point where you're able to catch Ogapon. This is probably the most time consuming part of this guide and will take between two to three hours to complete. As you don't have any additional ride features on your Coriodon and Maridon at this point, getting around Kitakami will take a little bit longer than it would if you had all of the other ride functions available. Don't worry too much as you can walk around to every single part of the map that you'll need to for this storyline, so you won't need to unlock any of the extra ride functions to do this. Just bear in mind, it will take a little bit more time. Now, another tip I'd like to suggest when you're starting out in Kitakami, if you have got a complete Paldea Pokedex in Pokemon Home or in your main copy of Scarlet and Violet, transfer it into Pokemon Home and then into this new account through Pokemon Home. 
to have a complete Pokedex in this new playthrough because doing this will give you a bunch of really good valuable rewards which is not only going to make speeding up the whole process of this new run through a lot easier it's also going to give you access to some of the special pokeballs that you'll be able to use on some of these exclusive legendary pokemon that you're catching again to put into your main games now the big points here are going to be the level up candies that you're going to get as you can see when we transferred our paldea pokedex into this new save account we were able to get all of the rewards, including a lot of small, medium and large level up candies, which allowed us to evolve as Brigatito into a level 45 Meow Scarada, as well as leveling our Lechonk up to an Oinkalong, which ended up around level 39, which is a big help in just being able to have Pokemon able to beat some of the mandatory battles that you have to go through in this part of the game. Of course, I understand not all of you will have a full Paldea Pokedex kind of just lying around in your games or in Pokemon Home, but another option is to transfer your starter Pokemon back into your main account and level it up there and then transfer it back to this new account so you have a much easier time when you come to these battles as you progress through the story. So once you've done this and then you've went through the storyline, you've taken all the shrine pictures with Kirin, had a night at the festival, found the Terra Crystals to repair Ogapon's mask, battled the Loyal Three, as well as the many different rematches with both Carmine and Kirin, you'll be at the point where you can battle and then capture Ogapon. It's only going to be level 20 at this stage if you're at the baseline of the level capping. So you shouldn't have any issues actually defeating it. And once you have, you can catch it in any ball you like. And remember earlier on when we mentioned about the Pokedex and getting those actual rewards for the special Pokeballs. Well, this is a great opportunity for you to get the Ogapon in any of those special Apricorn Balls that you were gifted through completing the Pokedex as well as having access to a beast ball which you get for completing the whole Paldean Pokedex as well. So by doing this you not only have an easier time leveling up to beat all the trainers that you have to come across, all the battles that you have to go through, but you have some nice selections of Pokeballs to catch these additional legendaries in when it comes to that time. Now you've kind of come to the end of the grindy parts of this process. You've caught the Ogapon and the next thing that you're going to want to do is put it in one of your boxes and then drop a save. Once you've done this you want to come back into to your home menu and then go into Pokemon Home. Now when you are coming into Pokemon Home it's important that you open Pokemon Home under your main account on your Switch that you would normally use and don't go into Pokemon Home under the account that you've just set up. Now once in Pokemon Home on the game selection screen come to this top menu here and click into it to change it from your current user to the one you recently created and caught that new Ogapon in. Now go into your Pokemon Scarlet or Violet game and move the Ogapon you caught from that copy into Pokemon Home and save and exit. Now come back to the main game selection screen, go back up to the top menu option and change the user back to your original account, then go back into your copy of Scarlet and Violet under your main user and transfer your newly caught Ogapon into your main account. And it is as simple as that. It is a very grindy process. In total, I think it took me about four hours to do this to get a an additional Ogapon, transfer it into Pokemon Home and then into my main Scarlet and Violet account. Uh, but all of these steps can be used, like I've mentioned throughout this video, to get additional copies of Blood Moon Ursa Luna. So if you wanted a different build of it, or if you just wanted an extra one, because it's the only way to get this Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet right now, this is a method to be able to do that as well. So if you're going for the Ogapon, you may as well do the Perrin side storyline, get yourself a Blood Moon Ursa Luna, as well as a Hisuian Growlithe. And then you can go after the Loyal 3 as well and get additional copies of Monkadori, Pezzendipity and Okadogi to add to your main account. So you've got multiple versions of these Pokemon going forward. And then if that's all you want to do, then you can delete that account, create a new one and do the whole process again to get multiple versions of these Pokemon with just one copy of the game. You can also go into Paldea and get the Ruin Legendary Pokemon. The only caveat with that is you're probably going to need some of the ride mechanics on your ride Pokemon, Coridon and Moridon to actually get some of the stakes to unlock these Ruin Pokemon. So that could be a bit of a longer process, but with the Teal Mask being accessible as a DLC pack very early on into your playthrough of Scarlet and Violet, it makes it very easy for you just to kind of rinse and repeat this process so you can get multiple of these Pokemon in different Pokeballs or just to add to your collection if you would want to. So thank you so much for taking the time to tune in to today's video, friends. Like I say, I hope it has been useful. If it has, 
please drop a like. It does really help out the video and get it shared around to help other people in the community. And do hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scholar and Violet content. Thank you once again for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.